a little later. I want to just briefly go to Josh in Fremont. Josh, good morning. You're on KSFO. Josh, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on, Seth man? (laughs) Go ahead, please. Um, Actually, I'm in support of the bill, and I would like to actually tell you why. All right. Um, I do believe that it gives police way too much discretionary power. There is something in the Fourth Amendment, and they can't just be standing there searching your cars if they don't have a valid reason. Well, if they have if they have reasonable suspicion, they can. That's allowed by the law. They have reasonable suspicion, but those uh, we did an investigation in Contra Costa County, and they only arrested three people for having a suspended license, and about five hundred they impounded their cars for suspension. I mean, sorry, expired registration or suspended license, which is no threat to society, right? So you're saying this happened at sobriety checkpoints? Yes. Okay. Well, what about uh, at the sobriety checkpoints when they find somebody who didn't... Well, did you say a suspended license? Yes. Well, that's that's bad news. Most of the time, licenses are spent, suspended because the guy's got a history of alcohol or drug abuse. Well, if he has a history of a DUI, that's different. But, I mean, if you have just a suspended license in general, I don't really see the point of them trying to make an example out of you and taking your car. It's a lot but, of money to get in and found it. Yeah, but Josh... You have a suspended license, and by way of the law, you're not supposed to be driving the vehicle. You're not supposed to be driving a vehicle. That's pretty serious stuff. I mean, it is and it isn't. Yes, obviously, you shouldn't be driving. It isn't. It isn't. It's not a threat to the community. Josh, well, the law states that a law, you have to have an injured party in order for it to be a law. And I think the DUI checkpoints are just making way too much money for the state, and it's not really concerned about DUIs. Josh, we got to run. Thanks for your call on KSFO 2020.